In this video, we will discuss how to find binomial probabilities. The first thing we want to do is to identify why this particular situation represents a binomial distribution. So suppose there is a pop quiz that's multiple choice that you did not study for. There are five questions with responses A through E. There are four criteria that we have to verify to make sure whether this is a binomial distribution or not. The first one is whether we have a fixed number of trials. There are five different times that we're going to perform this particular experiment, five questions. The second thing is whether your trials are independent. So every time you answer a question that has nothing to do with the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth question, the third criteria is for each trial, there are two mutually exclusive outcomes. You either answer this question correctly or you do not. And the fourth one is that the probability of success stays the same. There are A through E options, only one of those is correct. What is the probability of success? You have options A through E, which gives you a total of five, and there is only one that is correct for this particular question. So your probability of success is one out of five. What's the difference between binomial CDF and binomial PDF functions in your calculator? Well, the first place you would do is to locate them is go under second and distributions. And binomial PDF works by taking the number of trials. We have five different questions you're answering. We're finding the probability of success, which is one out of 5.2. And then we have the exact number of successes that you're interested in. So binomial PDF finds the probability of getting a exact, a certain, one specific incident of what could happen. And if you have the old operating system, on the left you would see what your screen will look like. On the right, if you have the new operating system, you would see what your screen will look like after pressing second and bars. Both of them, you just need to enter in N, which represents your number of trials, P, your probability of success, and X, the exact number of successes we're interested in finding. Binomial CDF, the first two entries are the exact same. You want your number of trials, your probability of success, but the last term, X, is now the exact number of successes and every option below it. It finds the probability of whatever number you enter plus all of the other probabilities below it. So let's look at our first set of examples. What's the probability of getting exactly five questions correct on a multiple choice quiz that you did not study for? So since we want one specific incident, exactly five, we use binomial PDF. Our number of trials, five questions, our probability of success, one out of five for A through E, and we want exactly five questions correct. Your calculator says 3.2 E to the negative four. This is scientific notation. We have to change this to a decimal. We do move our decimal to four spaces to the left to represent this number. So the probability that you get 100% on this quiz that you did not study for and you just randomly guessed is essentially zero. So very unlikely. What's the probability of getting zero questions correct? Since we're asking about one particular situation, exactly zero, we use binomial PDF. We have five questions on the test. That's our number of trials. Probability of success is one out of five, A through E. And what's the probability of getting exactly zero? That will be about 33%. So you didn't study, there's about a 33% chance that you get no questions correct just by guessing. What's the probability of getting three or less questions correct? Let's think about what this is saying. So you can get anything from zero to five questions correct, and we want three or less. So we want the probability of three, or probability of two, or the probability of one, or the probability of zero. We can do binomial PDF for each individual occurrence and add all those together or just use binomial CDF because it adds for us. So binomial CDF, our number of trials, five, our probability of success is 0.2, 
and three, we want the probability of getting three questions correct plus everything below it. So our probability of getting three questions correct or two questions correct or one question correct or zero questions correct is about 99%. So it's a very, very, very good chance. So what's the probability of getting more than three questions correct? If we want more than three questions, that means we want the options of four or five. We don't want three. We want more than three. We want four or five. So we have two different ways that we can approach this problem. We could just find the binomial PDF of four and add that to the binomial PDF of five. What's the probability of getting exactly four correct? What's the probability of getting exactly five correct? And add those probabilities together. Or we can let binomial CDF do the work for us. In our previous problem, we found the probability of getting three or less questions correct. And here we want the probability of getting more than three. So since these are opposite, we can use the complement to find this probability. We can do one minus the probability of five, point two, and three. And this will give us the probability of everything more than three. So options of four and five.